Thousands of years ago, a beautiful temple was built on an island. So my name is Laura Belém, I'm a visual artist from Brazil and this is a new artwork commissioned by the Liverpool Biennial and uh, it's an installation with uh, a thousand glass bells and a sound piece. I usually work uh, with installation but also I do a little bit of uh, photography and uh, drawing as well. And uh, so this work is called the Temple of a Thousand Bells and um, it is this installation with the glass bells and a sound piece which is it brings a story that tells you about a temple of a thousand bells that was built on an island and over the years the island and the temple sank into the sea but it was said that the music of the bells was was, uh, was still playing underwater and then there is the attempt of the sailor to listen, to hear the music of those bells. So the story is basically about his trials and uh, I rewrote uh, the text based on that legend and worked with a musician from Brazil, a composer, and we made the music and the sound effects for this. We are looking for a sort of church space to install the work and uh, the biennial came out with the idea of uh, using the oratory and uh, I thought that was uh, a great idea because it's a space that has got a sort of a spiritual uh, sacred connotation but not necessarily uh, religious and um, has got a lot of history and memory and uh, I think uh, the, the work and the sound piece especially relates very well to the memory of the space. We contacted some uh, local storytellers and poets uh, and the Biennial asked them to retell this story of this legend of the Temple of the Thousand Bells and they will retell it with their own words at the cathedral. So I think uh, it will be like a development of the work, like the work uh, blossoming, other, uh, yeah, other things. And <laughs> well, my name is uh, David Price Jones, and I'm at the Glass Blobbery, and we do uh, glass blowing. I made the bells for the um, uh, for the exhibition, and uh, I was asked if I wanted to. Um, uh, do these these thousand bells? And the idea of doing a thousand was, was quite frightening at, at the start. Um, each bell is individually handmade over a, a flame, so I, I have tubing and we can sort of bend and manipulate uh, the glass to create uh, the individual shape. So when you look at the piece, you'll notice that, that the bells do vary um, from one to another. When when we were making the thousand bells. It felt as though we were going to be filling a huge space. And then when you go into the space and you see this um, level of floating bells, um, it doesn't look as though there's a thousand there. It feels as though there's not, but it looks really spectacular. And with the music and the sound, the whole concept of it is, is working really well. back my veil, the tang of salt caught on our lips. His first shore leave. I waited an hour at the quay, handkerchief fluttering like a gull's wing. Later, we rocked the oak bed as if we were caught in a storm. St. Luke's chimed midnight. He lit a Turkish cigarette. Smoke and story laced around my head. The Indian Ocean, night air thick as wool. The groaning shrill of the Living no more. How can it be if I'm already dead and I'm off to see what's more? I'm off to see what's more. My ears do ring so suddenly clear, those bells ring for you more. Thank you.